I saw your ad on mine and it said you had something Cutco. Do you still have that? Or oh, is that already? Shoot. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Travis and my wife Stacy and I, we go to rummage sales, yard sales, garage sales, and we look for undervalued items to flip for a profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark, Mercari. We just got to this sale, so let's see what we can find today. I don't know. Crazy daisy this. Okay. There's another one there, too, the green one. Mm -hmm. It's kind of matching. Yeah, that's all. I'm out of my cabinet. I know. I is, there, is, there, is there a lid for it or anything? No. No lid? Okay. No. Okay. It's like a casserole dish or something? Mm hmm. I don't know. Kind of like a loaf pan. Oh, gotcha. Um, I saw your ad online and it said you had something Cutco. Do you still have that? Or oh, is that already? She, it might be one of my sisters. That's what I have. Betsy, she said she's seen Cutco. Do you have Cutco? I have it, but I don't know where it's at. She's unloading right now. <laughs> I have no idea. What is it? Cutco. Yeah, I mean, do you like it? Yeah, I like it. Yeah, all right. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. You're wearing my number. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. So as I walk up to this table, I notice these little cases and they have Nintendo on them. So I recognize them, I was like, oh, these are like, you know, cases to put like your Nintendo games in. She had a whole bunch of like different like buttons in there, little safety pins. So I was really just interested in the cases, not so much what was inside of them, but just really cool to find items like this because I had never seen these cases out in the wild before. It's the first time finding them. Yeah, or more, yeah. Found these. Hmm? Some way down stuff in there. Mm -hmm. I found these. I don't, I don't, I don't want the paper clips, but... Oh, cool, man. Two Nintendo cases. Um, maybe I will. Maybe I'll do a costume. I think I'll say a costume. Have a great for the roller skating party. Yeah, it was. <laughs> How much are the fishing poles, man? Mm -hmm. They're 40 for the two pens. Really? Um, okay. I'm trying to get the stuff out. They'll trip over there, right? Good enough. I'll help her. I think I'll be a fourth one. Yeah, they look nice. Yeah, they look nice. I like that. Do you look at those ones? I'll have to put the little one in there. Oh, they look nice. Yeah. 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 Doing pretty good. How are you? You want to look at these or no? Yeah. I was going to take a look in there real quick. I'm right over here. All right. No problem. I appreciate it. And do you know if you have any more of these like cases that are holding all your beads? Like any of these plastic cases? No. You got a couple blue ones and a yeah. red one though. Okay, no problem. I'm just checking in this case, seeing what kind of movies they have, seeing if they have like maybe any other video games because you know they did have those Nintendo cases. I find like this little CD booklet. Um, you never know what's going to be inside of those. Sometimes they could be video games or you know CDs, it just depends. But I always check those just in case because I have got lucky and found a whole stack of video games like in those CD booklets. So I'm not really seeing anything here, but you always got to check. They look new. I don't know, I think they're new, but... There's still stuff on it. That's just tape. I think they're on there. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Alright. Am I ready? Yeah. yeah. So, we're all three different sales. So okay. Oh. Okay. I left in this area. I'm okay. sorry. That's okay. Um, I think I took the shoes from over there then, too. Okay, so we got these. this and this. These two things, I think, are from... And this, possibly. I think she wanted 15 for the shoes. These are the Keens. 15? Yeah, these are expensive mm -hmm. shoes. I don't know, probably, uh, probably pass on that. Let's see. Um, and 10 on those. Okay, and this? 10. That's okay. a retro. Okay. One. 
I think we're gonna pass on that. Okay. How much are these? I really don't want the bees inside. I just want the cases. You want the boxes. And did you have a Pyrex bowl? In yeah, this was three. Yeah. Okay, you owe me ten. Yeah. Three and seven. Okay. What would you get for these? But the jewel cases are hard to find on the old. Uh, I'd do seven on all of them if you're interested. You want to do this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know they. This. So seven or ten? Ten. Thank you. Oh, thank you so Thanks, much. You're welcome. Yeah, you're welcome. Have a good day. You too. We passed on the canisters because there's a little bit too much for us to get into, and the Keens didn't comp out that great as well, so we passed on those. So we're just going to pick up the jumpsuit and these Nintendo cases. But after I paid the other lady for the jumper and the Nintendo cases, she was like, well, can you hold on a second before you take it? Because I love this jumpsuit. I have a lot of memories with it. So she like brought it over to her car to like take some pictures of it before she let me take it because she had a real hard time letting it go. Oh, that is kind of cool. I got it. Yeah. Thank you so I'm much. Miss that piece. <laughs> it's a very cool piece. Appreciate it. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Over here on this table, I do see a lot of box sets, and some of them were priced uh, a little bit high, like $15, the Blu-ray one was like $40, but some of the box sets, the box DVD sets, can go for a good amount of money, even you. So I always check them out because you just never know. Um, the Harry Potter one, that like suitcase right there, that suitcase box deal, if that was new, that would have been worth a good amount of money. I'm just checking inside to make sure that all the pieces are in it. Um, I think this one came with like different pieces, like different bookmarks. There's like, you know, the owl, um, a, a broom. I don't know which broom it is. I don't know if it's like the Nimbus 2000, if it's the Firebolt. But anyways, it's just, you know, a cool little extra that went with that um, box set. So I'm putting everything back in there. But if it was a little bit cheaper, I probably would have picked it up. But like I said, always keep your eye out for box sets, especially the Blu-ray ones. You know, those always seem to hold a little bit, little bit more value than the regular DVDs, but it really just depends on which set it is. So at the end of the day, we ended up going back to a sale that we had went to previously because Stacy was asking for some of those Cutco um, utensils and she picked up two of them but she said that she had other ones but couldn't find them in the morning. So sometimes you run into that issue if you go to a sale like first thing in the morning and maybe they haven't got everything out yet or they don't know where certain things are so you might miss out on a couple things. But so we went back to see if she had them and maybe if we can find any more things. And we did find this Le Creuset grill pan with a press. And um, if you guys don't know, uh, Le Creuset is a really good brand to look out for and they're really nice heavy duty cast iron cookware. I wanted five for the bag. I don't know. Well, they're all missing their batteries. Yeah. There's no like. And he, so. you know what? He got two new ones for Christmas, and, the and he's, uh, both his backs are off already. He changes the batteries and never puts them back on, but he's a kid, you know. Yeah. How much for just that one? Because these are all like taken yeah, apart. Yeah, I'll do a dollar for it. Right. I'd do three for all of it. You want them for three? No, cause I, yeah, yeah. you just I don't know. Yeah. Like they look taken apart, so I don't even know. Yeah. This one I'm taking a chance on too, just because I'm not sure if it works. A dollar for this. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Anything else for you? I'm just looking. This is really cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, you want me to hold it? Here. I'll hold this. Are you getting it? I already got it. Oh. I head over to these tubs in the corner and I do see like this Fortnite, it's like a clock tower. Um, I don't know, like you build it together. It's not Legos, but it's something similar to that. Like you build this clock tower. It looked like it had a lot of pieces in it. So I was like, all right, you know, this could be pretty good. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick yeah. it up. Good. That's, uh... Fortnite is uh, three dollars for the bag. Three for the bag, okay. Yeah. What do you guys think? Think this could be good? Fortnite clock tower, three bucks. It's got a lot of pieces. I don't know. I'm gonna give it a go. See what happens. 
Stacy likes building these things, so hopefully she'll enjoy putting this together. What's up? This is the. Oh. The, um, I bought two pieces from you this morning. Oh, you probably bought them from my oh, sister. Okay. Yeah. This one up, it's got like a. Yeah, yeah. Like salmon. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't even know how how's that even happen. Mm. No telling, but I'll tell you what, they are good about sending one back. What do you think? Oh, mm -hmm. they're a little rough. Great condition. Yeah. It's not, it's not in that great condition. I know. What? How much is wrong for it? Here's the booklet for them. Hmm? How much is she wrong for them? A hundred. Uh, how come they're like different handles, like somewhere like this? And... You want this over there, though? Do you have any knives or a knife block or anything? I don't have well? any no? okay. knives. Gotcha. Okay. Alright. So, what do you think? <clears throat> I thought it was going to be two full sets. Mm -hmm. But because she has multiples of some of these, but she has three of these, I don't know why. Mm. So this is like one. It's like a hundred. Mm -hmm. okay. And then these randoms, this one's damaged. So, yeah, but, so I don't know if these would just be extra. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's worth it. And I don't know if this can get things. Like, I feel like they should look like this. Mm -hmm. So Stacey and I were looking at these Cutco utensils and they just weren't in the greatest condition. Like the ladle had like a crack in it. I don't know how that happens. And then like the wooden handles on some of them were like really like beat up. Some were kind of were smooth, I think how they're supposed to be, but some were just like really worn. So she won $100 for all of it. One of the sets goes for like $100. And then the other like four pieces, I don't know how much that would have been worth. So I think that we're going to pass on it. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Leave me a comment down below. Should we have got all of those Cutco items for $100? I think there would have been nine items total, but I don't know. I just I didn't get the greatest feeling with the condition on them. That, uh, Betsy, how much is that frying pan? Come on over. That's three, you said? Three, and that one's this four. This you're already paid for. And then this is five for the. You already paid pan. for this? Yeah, yeah. I gave you a dollar for oh, earlier. Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's five this for is the five? pan. Okay. Mm -hmm. That makes great paninis. Good paninis. All right, thank you. Thank okay. you. You're welcome, thank you.